children now this is a very very important topic so please listen to me carefully we will be talking about blood groups here and the concept of blood groups was given by karl landsteiner you have to remember this name this the concept was given by karl landsteiner what do you mean by blood groups now this is the classification of blood types based on the antigen present on the surface of rbc now this is the definition for blood group and we have four types of blood groups a b ab and o right i use the word antigen present on the surface of rbcs and i can explain it very well with the help of this uh, upcoming diagram uh, if we can see this see uh, all these are rbcs that i have drawn fine uh, this is just let me select a color so that it is highlighted uh, now on the surface of this rbc i have drawn used different colors to show different antigens so these antigens could be lipid content could be a proteinaceous content could be a glycoproteinaceous content which is different in one rbc uh, uh, which is not uh, always similar to i mean two rbcs uh, if a person ha having a blood group a that means the rbc of that particular person has the antigen a on its surface right that means the blood group a that uh, is characterized by the presence of antigen a on the rbc surface similarly if someone is blood group b that means the antigen present on the surface of rbc would be antigen b ab ab is a combination that means both the antigens would be present on the surface of rbc so the blood group would be ab it's a mixture of both the antigens and the last one is o this o does not have any antigen that's why the whole surface is smooth without any antigen present right children the thing that you have to understand is our body only recognizes any foreign blood which is containing antigen similar to us right if we have antigen a we will always be transfused with the blood having antigen a only right we will not be expecting antigen b if anyone would ever try to uh, infuse antigen b blood group in uh, inside us in that case our rbcs would be clumping they will react and they will clump right so just keeping this in mind that antigen a defines a blood group antigen b defines b blood group antigen ab would define ab blood group and if there is no antigen present on the surface of rbc then you will call it blood group o right apart from this let me clear out this mess apart from this these antigens you might be finding a black dot another extra factor present on rbcs right this is a one extra antigen present on the surface of rbcs but it is something which may be present or may not be present it's not necessary that every time this factor will be present the first time this factor was identified it was identified inside the rhesus monkey that's why the factor is known as rh factor or rhesus factor rh factor is defined as an extra antigen over the surface of rbc right if this extra antigen is present along with the main antigen then you would be giving uh, we sometimes call the blood group a positive and a negative so what is that positive and negative here right this is basically the symbol de which denotes whether the rh factor that extra factor is present in rbc or not so if a positive is written that means this extra factor is present on rbc if a negative is written that means rh factor is not there right and this is applicable to all b positive the factor is present b negative that means this extra factor is not there only the antigen b is there similarly ab extra factor present you will write ab positive if it is not present you will write ab negative and similarly o positive and o negative right children 
this is how you characterize different blood groups the blood groups are classified on the basis of antigen present on the surface of rbcs that is antigen a blood group a antigen b blood group b antigen ab both are present so blood group ab and if none of the antigen is present on the rbc surface then you would call it blood group o apart from that we also look for that extra factor present on the rbc surface and that extra factor is known as rh factor presence of this rh factor would make the blood group positive and if this rh factor is not there the blood group would be negative all right children so i conclude this video here and um, i will be following you in the next video